21 TRD Pro Tundra Lunar Rock. Very, very clean as you can see. It has 16,000 miles on it. One owner. I am the owner. Factory Toyota decal inserts there. High end LED backup lights, which are ridiculously bright. Brand new Rough Country Trifold insulated cover. It's got a little dust in it. Factory spray in bed liner. Factory Toyota mat. Swing case, swing out toolbox. So you can fit tons of stuff in there. Really handy. You can lock it, it's watertight, secure. You put a padlock right here. Fire extinguisher mounted to it. Tailgate seal kit. This is very well sealed top. This keeps the dust and stuff from getting sucked in the back, the water. Seals up very nicely. Has the factory lock on the tailgate, backup camera. Tow package, obviously. 34 inch Nitto Ridge Grapplers, 10 ply, 34 1150s. TRD Pro BBS forged wheels. Factory Fox Racing suspension. Internal bypass reservoir shocks. Can't see them very well, but. Phil Rhino Raptor style step boards. Very, very nice step boards. They're actually useful. You can get on them, get up here to wash the roof, get at things. They're very sturdy. Great for the kids to get in and out, the wife, but they don't get your pants muddy. They're actually useful for getting in and out instead of just being in the way like the stirrup types. Inside, starter up. We've got the uh, roll down back window. Let's hear that exhaust a little bit. Back up. There's the factory interface. Give it a minute. I've got a wireless CarPlay unit synced up in here and you'll see that Apple CarPlay connect. A little dongle right there that I need to hide, but haven't done it yet. It's got the automatic climate control dual zone. Uh, it does have dual heated seats, which is hard to find in this region. Have the anytime front or rear camera mod, two 2.1 amp USB charging ports, one USB input port for the head unit, traction control button. You also have a 12 volt over here, um, as well as a 12 volt in the console. There's your factory. Apple CarPlay, it is wireless. I'm using my phone to video this. It is not plugged into anything. As you can see, there's nothing plugged in down there. The only thing is this dongle works great. Gives you uh, Google Maps, iMaps, Spotify, anything you want. Works like a champ. It's a high res screen. I'll demonstrate that anytime reverse. Watch this. There's your reverse camera. So you can look at your load when you're towing. Look at your camper. There's your anytime front looking camera. You can use those anytime you're driving. When you put it in the middle position, it works with the shifter, obviously. <laughs> Fucker. Works with the uh, reverse as well, as long as it's in the middle position. Keyless ignition, keyless entry, tow haul, built in trailer brake control. It's got some nice uh, aftermarket shifter console and cup holder surrounds. Got rid of the chrome there that would shine in your eyes. Also, custom real leather console cover that matches the seats. And stitching and leather type the rte pro badge here you've got 
your wireless charging unit that is a factory option that never came on a TRD Pro it came on the Platinum and 1794 some of them I've installed one you just lay your phone in there and it charges it's awesome uh, you never have to clutter with anything on your dash really really nice uh, power seats both front seats are powered huge sunroof does have the Toyota Link Starlink system um, has auto up and down driver and passenger side windows which is nice if you've ever owned a Tundra before you know those are hard to come by uh, it does have the JBL unit uh, on the sound system which includes the subwoofer and the 12 speaker uh, high-end stereo system uh, it does have cargo illumination power mirrors um, adjustable headlights for height when you're towing uh, auto high beams and auto headlights those are bad ass uh, love it um, very very useful and you miss them when you don't have them tow haul mode you also got dynamic radar cruise control and collision avoidance system and lane departure warning all of which work way better than you would think uh, and i use them constantly voice control which actually works really well once you train it um, all your in dash displays compass uh, your mpg average today's 14 uncorrected for the tire size difference that's about 14.6 mile a gallon average which isn't bad in a tundra um, it alerts you if you're getting drowsy tells you to take a break um, there's your dynamic cruise control in your lane departure settings tire pressure monitor display you get actual psi on each corner very useful there's your trailer brake setup screen and display screen for your gain etc it's not connected to anything right now so it's not going to show any gain uh, there's your message displays here's where you go in and change your settings you can change all kinds of settings in this screen as well very very nice four-wheel drive uh, you know it's a part-time four-wheel drive system four high and four low with a transfer case it has a limited slip rear diff aftermarket tray up here that will hold your phone you set it in here just like this and you can look at your nav you can you know watch something if you want i'm not going to tell you to do that um but it holds your screen uh it'll hold your sunglasses or coin holder i don't know why you do that but the factory one is just a dish it's useless so that's a really nice addition um, inside, forgive all my stuff, but I've got an organizer here that lifts out, and then you've got tons of storage in there. You got storage for tissues, business cards, pins, um, whatever else accoutrement you might want to keep in there, and your 12 volt socket there, which is great for keeping batteries charged. Put carbon monoxide. LED lights on the license plate, reverse, and cargo lights are LED. New those 34s. I think we went over that. In the back, we've got the uh, factory TRD Pro all-weather mats, which are actually really nice, way better than the previous generations, and almost as nice as WeatherTech. So I didn't buy any for this one. You have a console armrest for the middle passenger in the rear. Headrests all around. Leather. We've got underseat storage. This is not factory. I installed this. It's really nice to have so there's plenty of places for your tools etc back here that are hidden uh, you got rear ac rear 12 volt for your passengers handles to get in and out power window controls in the back child locks under the hood and true three urfe 5.7 liter v8 flex, this one is not a flex fuel they quit making the flex fuels thankfully it's got the trd air filter in it panel filter it also has i don't know if you can see that down there it has a trd intake snorkel which is essentially the only thing that's different other than a tube right here which is the same diameter uh, between the factory intake and the trd intake is the filter and that flared intake snorkel 
uh, they call it an airflow accelerator. Um, so essentially it has the TRD intake without the gaudy red looking stuff. Uh, other than that, it's untouched, 16,000 miles. It is on its third oil change from Toyota, 0W20 Toyota oil and Toyota filter. Um, I have added, they always leave that down. I don't know why. I have added an aftermarket transmission cooler, which you can see there with crimped hoses and the factory transmission thermostat and cooler that was removed from the Tundras in 2019. So you will not have any overheating issues towing your trailer like you will with anybody else's 2021 uh, because I've added the cooler and installed it properly. It's the factory installed TRD Pro rigid pods for fogs, LED head high and low beams, um, like I said, automatic high beams, automatic headlights, blacked out badges, TRD Pro package has that from the factory. You've got your TRD Pro skid, which is a quarter inch thick aluminum plate. You have your TRD Pro Fox Reservoir and Ebot coils all the way around. And then in the back, you can see there your TRD Pro Borla dual stainless exhaust skid plates under your uh, transfer case and your fuel tank trd pro sway bars which are actually a little different than the standard trd off-road believe it or not even though it's not painted red um that's about it underneath so as you can see this truck has some tasteful extras it has been meticulously cared for garage kept um, has towed my camper to and from the dealer, which is about 10 miles away, uh, twice. So that's about it for the towing. It hasn't towed much. Um, it has been very lightly used and it has the interior and exterior ceramic treatment with lifetime protection warranty through Toyota, as well as the Toyota Platinum Care extended warranty, I believe to a hundred thousand. I'll get the paperwork out on that. That is through Toyota Bowling Green and Toyota North America. Um, of course, it's still under the factory standard warranty for a long time. Um, and they have all the service records on it. It has that all TSB and any updates uh, or recalls performed, uh, including head unit updates, etc. Everything works as it should. No issues. Beautiful truck. Let's talk.